Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today I've got a very exciting video for you, sharing with you all my current powerhouse anti-aging products. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to the Sleep and Glow Pillow. Ha, <laughs> a little rhyme there. Now, Sleep and Glow are sponsoring this video, so a huge shout out to them because this pillow is life-changing. It's literally changed my life. I'm just gonna hold it up. Hello. Here it is. So this is my pillow. I mean, it's memory foam. You can see there. I just I could just play with this all day. It's also a little bit of a stress reliever if you just want to sit here and do this all day, as I will, because what else am I going to do? So if this is not the weirdest looking. Oh, I just bosh myself in the face. Now, when they reached out to me and told me about this anti-aging pillow, I was confused. Now, I've heard of like using silk pillowcases. I've heard that lots of people are constantly telling me you need to get a silk pillowcase, get a silk pillowcase. Um, you need you need them because they're way better if you especially like me are a demon side sleeper. I know it's terrible to sleep on your side, but that is how I sleep. It's comfy, I can't change now, it's too late for me. If you sleep on your side, you squash your whole face up like a pit bull on the pillow, and you are going to bunch up your skin and create sleep wrinkles. It also is bad for your hair as well, I think. And, and even eyelashes I read recently, and eyebrows rubbing on the pillow, rub them off. It's all just a horror show. It's also, I believe, especially the way I sleep, because I almost sleep with like my body almost face down and my face turned to the side, which Christ knows what a chiropractor would make of that. But that's just how I sleep. I can't change now, it's too late. So they contacted me and were explaining that this is like especially created for side sleepers. So your face goes like here and then your face is almost like suspended in the air so that you're not as squash, your face is not as creased and you're not getting those puffy sleep wrinkles. It was also developed with orthopedists and sleep specialists as well as cosmetologists. So it's actually ergonomically designed to um, support your head and neck properly. So I really thought this is gonna take some serious getting used to. I really could not picture how it was gonna work, like sleeping with that big hole here. Like I did not know what this was gonna go like. Um, and this is the first few times I used this was this week and I didn't have any problems. I had I slept like a baby night one. I thought I might actually like, actually swap back to my normal pillow um, because I thought um, it's going to take me a while to adjust. But something weird is starting to happen. Let me tell you. So at first I was hugely surprised by how comfortable it is sleeping on the side. It has like this part of the top supports your head, the back of your the back of your head if you're sleeping on your back and here the, the top part of your head if you're on your sli si slide and then the bottom part kind of supports your chin as well um, and I thought I'd feel like I'm kind of hanging off but your face you feel your face and neck feels fully supported like you're being held by an angel if you will but the weird and unexpected thing I didn't expect is this pillow has somehow made it achievable and comfortable and even enjoyable for me to sleep on my back which I didn't expect that was kind of an unexpected but like bonus for me I thought this is going to help me sleep on my side without doing as much damage to my skin and hair and um, without causing as many wrinkles sleep wrinkles it's going to um, just make my side sleeping position better for aging but number one I get very bad neck pain and I feel like two nights of sleeping on this and my neck feels better than it's felt for a very long time because it's just so supported in that side sleeping position. But second of all, I'm finding myself sleeping on my back a lot of the time already because it's so comfortable to sleep on your back on this. It's like the whole thing just cocoons and it supports your, the back of your neck and your head and your chin and even like your shoulders because it kind of hugs your shoulders. I know this sounds like I'm just rambling like an absolute loony, but I genuinely have been completely aghast 
by how nice this is. I'm going to actually have to get my husband one because he is ragingly jealous. And if he thinks he's borrowing mine, it's <laughs> very sadly mistaken. Um, they, you can also get like special shaped covers. They do a silk cover. I know people are gonna go nuts for that one. And a tensile if silk is not your thing so that you can use, you know, you can get a few covers so that you're never without your pillow while they're being washed. It's uh, really um, just so grateful and I feel so lucky that they wanted to work with me because this I really feel is going to make such a difference to my sleep position to my signs of aging and also to my neck I get a lot of migraines I think this is going to make a big difference so I highly recommend if like me you're a side sleeper giving this one a go because I guarantee you you won't be disappointed so next up on my current five powerhouse anti-aging ingredients of course my spf so this is the quarterly spf it's 50 factor 50 and it has no oxybenzone no octinoxate Ooh, nearly it is a water resistant and for sensitive skin i have been using this one for a year now this is my second tube of the cordley because i love it so much it doesn't leave my skin super greasy makeup goes on beautifully over the top of it i don't use a separate spf in the winter because i don't leave the house honestly i rarely go outside um, and if i do it's a very brief excursion and then i quickly back inside because it's cold and rainy and windy and so that's just not what i've signed up for in life but in the summer, if I if I am going outside, I really don't wear a lot of makeup. So I'll put this under and then I'll do something like maybe some brows and lashes and maybe a lip gloss or a lip balm and just this. Or I know I can put this under my makeup if I'm only going to be, you know, outside and I don't need to reapply if I'm just being outside for a couple of hours. But this is the best SPF for under makeup or for not under makeup that I have found. Doesn't leave a white cast, it's not sticky, it's not shiny, doesn't mess up my makeup, and it's got super high SPF, which I'm a big fan of, and it smells, oh my God, like beach. Next up, the thing, the thing, the product that I feel has made the most difference to reducing my lines and texture and this is my drunk elephant retinol the appassioni retinol cream i love this stuff i've talked about this so many times it almost feels moot to talk about it again because i'm sure you've heard it all i love this i'm now up to using this pretty much every other day um and i only really don't use it if i'm having a break because i've done like an extreme mask that kind of does the same job this is without a doubt the most powerful uh, retinol that I've tried. I know there are prescription retinols that you can get not in the UK. I don't, I can't, it's too, it's too much, it's too stressful. I don't need anything more powerful than this. This for me is the, the good stuff. It does everything I need it to do. And this tube, I mean, you can see how much is left. I've had this one year, let that sink in. So I know it's expensive wait for a space nk spend 60 get 15 pounds off situation and pick this one up it will last you for a year so it's it's an investment put it that way next up this is my body body blah, 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 bobby brown extra repair eye cream now i have used several eye creams that i feel make a difference to lines and wrinkles my clinique repair wear that i was loyal to for years and now this one are to me the best of the best i have very pronounced crow's crow's feet these ones here or oh, i did they're still there this is you know <laughs> they're still there but there is a marked difference and reduction to what they look like three years ago even though i'm older now since i started using proper powerful decent good skincare especially around my eyes and a really good really powerful eye cream works twice because i really see an improvement to my lines and wrinkles and undoubtedly it's reducing the ones that are the new ones that are just arriving but also i feel like this one especially 
keeps my makeup in my under eye area looking better because the under eye area is hydrated all day long with this. It feels hydrated all the live long day. And I know that's because of this. Um, and that just means that my concealer doesn't start looking cakey and heavy and dry. Um, the powder under there doesn't look really, really caked because my eye area is starting to shrivel up with the drying. It's just really, really decent. And like the Drunk Elephant, this pot, I'm not sure how, whether you can really see how much is left in there, but I haven't hit pan yet. I don't appear to have even been close. And I think my husband picked this up for me on a on a trip at the airport and it was like October time. So this again is gonna have lasted me like a good six months. So yes, it's expensive, but it is an investment because it's very rich and you need a tiny amount. And number five on my list, this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Now we know this is an amazing primer. This also has anti-aging ingredients in it. And the fact that you're putting it on as like a barrier between your makeup and your face is also really, really good. It also is one of these um, products that blocks pollution and all the bad stuff from getting all up in your face. But the most exciting thing about this from an anti-aging perspective is that this primer really, really smooths the fine lines and texture and like crepiness, things like this. It makes such a big difference to all of those like troubled areas. I always talk about my muzzle zone, this area here, as being the first, other than like my crow's feet and maybe smile lines, forehead, like actual lines. The next area that for me I've noticed like aging is this area because it's just like obviously smile, eat, talking, blah, 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 blah. this is the most mobile area of the face, the muzzle zone. It's constantly on the move if you're me and I just see like Skin that used to be smooth is not so smooth anymore. There's things like, I don't know whether creping is the right word, but there's definitely texture and lines and just signs of aging. This whole, this whole zone is that way. And this is where this stuff comes really into, into play. All around here, all around my forehead lines, it just smooths everything out. It hides a good few years and it really helps as far as things getting worse and you know, going down that slippery slope that is age. I'm sorry. So there you have it. Please let me know any questions you have about the pillow. I'm still really getting to know this pillow. <laughs> we're we're going to be great friends. Um, I will update you with any further tea over the next few weeks in my March favourites because let me tell you, this is going in. This is going in my March favourites. I have really, really been impressed and shocked. I really didn't, I didn't know what to expect. It looks so weird. I didn't know what to expect. And I really think if you're like me, if you're a bad sleeper, if you get neck pain from sleeping in the bizarre half down, half side situation that I do, then I really think that this might help you out. Um, so let me know if you have any questions down below and I will keep you posted on how our relationship progresses. Thank you so much for watching and I would love to see you in the next video. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.